experiment twice. The first time was with a sandwich bag, which is a larger bag, and then we did it with a snack bag, which is a little smaller. And we found out that the experiment with the sandwich bag, which is the bigger bag, um, took a lot longer to explode and create the chemical reaction, while the smaller snack bag was like only 20 seconds, which was a when lot When the shorter. baking soda and the vinegar mix, they create an acid-base reaction and they work together to create carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas, and a gas needs a lot of room to expand into and react to. So the carbon dioxide starts to fill up the bag, and it keeps filling it up until the bag can't hold any more air, and eventually the bag will pop. So that's why when we use the smaller bag, the reaction happened faster because there's less room for the gas to expand into. But when we used the bigger bag, there was more space for the carbon dioxide to expand into, so it took much longer. This is what happened when we used the sandwich bag, which is bigger. In this bag is a mixture of a fourth a cup of water and a half a cup of vinegar. All right, so now we're going to add three teaspoons of baking soda onto this tissue. There's one. There's two. And there's three. All right, so now I'm just going to wrap this tissue around the baking soda to a pocket. I got the water and vinegar and the baking soda. It's time for the excitement. which is a smaller bag. For this experiment, we're going to use a smaller bag than the other one, but we're still going to use the same amount of water. Now she's pouring in the vinegar. Okay, now I'm going to add the vinegar to the water inside the bag. But when we used the bigger bag, there was more space for the... Yeah, this is... <laughs> now I'm going to add three teaspoons of baking soda to... on top of a tissue. <laughs> then we're going to wrap up the baking soda and drop it into the bag. So that's why when we used the smaller bag, there was less room for it to expand. <laughs> Stop silent. 